Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month and you will feel that energy right out of the gate. And there are surprises in store, without a doubt. It is going to be a full moon happening right around the third of the month. Now you wanna give or take a day on either side depending on where you are on the planet. But what is especially noteworthy about this full moon is that it is going to set up a T-square with Uranus. Now Uranus is in your sign. It is a planet of surprise, of truly feeling as if understandings, epiphanies, information, developments come out of nowhere uh, to take you to a place of having to be more honest with yourself as to where things actually are. It is a reality check that sometimes can feel as if it is one that contains some uncertainty until you deal with it. Once you deal with it, you find yourself on smoother ground. But here's the thing, because Uranus is in your sign, and at this point, Uranus is starting to slow right down. Right in the middle of the month, Uranus will officially go retrograde, but is occupying a very small section of the sky throughout the month. And so because of this, Uranus is especially strong. And again, in your sign. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with your understanding of your legacy and of the destiny that you are creating. Full moons tend to bring things to culmination, to a conclusion, if you will. And they are a part of ultimately allowing change and transformation to take place. Uranus is honest, but so is a full moon. It's just that the full moon holds that much more emotionality to it. And so here we are. It is going to be now that some understanding, some shift in your clarity as to your direction, as to what is worth doing and what isn't. And yes, for some people out there, this can be a shift or a change in your understanding of your career path as well. But because Uranus is in your sign, it is rooted in your understanding of your truth. You are in the midst of a slow and steady cycle. It is gonna be Uranus that will take you right to the middle of the decade. And since about 2018, experiencing Uranus, this is about you becoming a more honest version of yourself, a, a version of yourself that is guided by a voice within, that knows what it is that you have been created to do in this lifetime. Now, if you are relatively young, you may still feel this as dramatic, and yet it's a lot more easier to make adjustments, right? Because you're relatively young, you are meant to experiment and explore and discover things about yourself. But if it is that you don't consider yourself relatively young on paper anyways, and if it is that you have established a certain life for yourself, well then when Uranus comes along, it is that much more of a shocker. And there are gonna be some Taurians out there. I want to be very straightforward with you. Yes, this may represent a big change. It is career, it is life purpose, it is legacy and destiny. Your pathway is changing now. Now for some, this may represent a new opportunity, but something may feel off, it may not feel right. You know, I have been saying that with this pandemic, with this opportunity that all of us have had, to be still, to stop. For so many of us out there, we are gonna find ourselves going back to the roles that we had before, the routines, the way in which, the path in which we were walking. And for some, there's going to be a renewed sense of gratitude, a, a sense that they weren't aware before of just how much they appreciated the role that they had been in, the path that they had been on. But I do think that for a whole lot of people out there, it is going to be this return that is going to make it abundantly clear that the path they have been on is not the path for them. They are gonna find themselves in roles that don't feel right anymore, that they can no longer be on automatic and just perform. And if anybody out there is likely to feel that in the context of a career path, it certainly is you. 
But if it is that you are on the right career path for you, well, this is going to represent a moment of honesty that allows you to make key changes. Squares, and especially T-squares, they ask for action and they get things done. That is key here. And this may very well represent a moment where a lot is getting done for you and on your behalf, but especially what it is that you are producing, what it is that you are accomplishing, it must be connected to something that feels authentic and real and true within you, or else this is gonna represent a time of truly making more dramatic changes beyond that. Now, as we navigate later in the month, right around the 19th of the month, we are gonna have this month's new moon. This energy is very different than the full moon earlier in the month. And it is this new moon that is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with the home and family of origin. Now, this new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. It is happening hand in hand with Mercury. I think you are going to love this energy. Uh, it does suggest that if it is that you have a home-based business or you're working from home or you're working with homes, this can be a time uh, of karmic blessings and greater connections, greater opportunities. If it is that you are looking to buy or sell or move or even take on a new roommate, this is where uh, changes and connections that happen can feel especially energizing, especially hopeful, especially positive, and there's a sense of ease and naturalness with which the changes can transpire. And if it is that you are directing this energy in the direction of your family of origin, perhaps your parents in particular, well, this can be some very empowered news on that front as well. Now, regardless, one thing I would absolutely encourage you to do is to close the door, have some space to yourself, create a sanctuary of some kind from which you can nurture your own ideas, your own thoughts, feel more connected to self, because it is going to be in that space that you may find yourself working on something that is truly meaningful to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is finally on the move, okay? So we are coming out of late last month, Venus left shadow, very exciting. But it is gonna be on the eighth of this month that Venus will change signs, move into a much more compatible position for you and move into a part of the sky for you that has to do with mind level connections. Given that Venus is your ruling planet, this means that much more to you personally and romantically as well. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, online connections can go especially well during this time. Now we are gonna have some intense moments as part of Venus moving through this part of the sky, moments that feel like a pull in a particular direction that feel especially faded and yet it is going to be this placement that allows you to understand and give voice to what it is that you are hoping for in the context of love and where you move forward from here and for those of you who are just starting to date somebody yes this is energy of talking so talkative energy but just be mindful that um, there are going to be moments of heightened sensitivity where very innocently, you may find yourself saying something and provoke a particular reaction, but it's also possible that this person reveals things to you in casual conversation that leave you with many mixed feelings as well. And so ultimately, you know, as they say, when people show you who they are, believe them, well, it is going to be in those casual conversational moments that you're going to come to a deeper understanding as to who this person is, and that'll allow you to make a choice as to whether or not you want to move forward. Now, for those of you who are in an established bond, there are gonna be key moments that are much easier to say and speak the things of your heart. And as a general principle, Venus in this part of the sky uh, does suggest that you are able to talk about just about anything and feel a greater connection on a level of heart. And yet there are gonna be key moments when energy runs very high, sensitivity runs high as well. And it may be a good idea to hold back on key important conversations during those times. I do think overall, even outside of love, because of Uranus being so strong this month, standing still in the sky, changing directions, it does suggest that so much of a larger theme this month is going to be about you 
getting honest with yourself about what you really feel, about who you really are, about what matters to you most and what matters to you first, that very often some of your most important understandings and answers are going to be found within. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's a lot here, but I am going to say that new moon because that new moon is an energy that is uh, one of feeling truly at home and feeling that home is a place that is that much easier, that much brighter. And it is home that is changing in ways that help you to feel that much more comfortable with you. If it is that you'd been hoping for good news on the home front, well, this new moon definitely can help you in that regard, very spontaneously bringing about brand new opportunities and a change of circumstances that help you to feel more grounded right where you are. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Mars retrograde horoscopes that are now on my website as well at NadiaShaw.com and so much more. I look forward to meeting you in the superstar space on my website, NadiaShaw.com. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.